In the past 100 years, science has made exciting progress in linking the worlds of science and spirituality, especially when it comes to understanding the nature of reality. One area where this connection becomes fascinating is the intersection between Buddhist teachings and the findings of quantum physics. Let's embark on a journey to unravel how these two seemingly different fields are actually quite connected. Buddhism teaches about something called emptiness, which means that everything comes from and goes back to a kind of empty space that holds endless possibilities. Think of it like the canvas where a painter creates art. All the things you see, feel, hear, and think about right now come from this vast realm of potential. It's like the foundation of reality. Imagine you had a dream where a big gorilla was chasing you. In that dream, you were scared, and the gorilla seemed very real. But when you woke up, you realized it was just a dream, and both you and the gorilla were part of that dream. This dream world emerged from your mind, like images on a blank canvas. Similarly, even though a blank sheet of paper doesn't have any writing on it, it holds the potential for endless stories and ideas. Quantum physics, which studies the tiniest building blocks of the universe, reveals something similar. It shows us that things can be both particles and waves at the same time. This might sound strange, but it's like water in a pond it can be calm waves or individual drops, depending on how you look at it. This wave-like form of matter can be everywhere at once, just like our dream gorilla. It's a bit like saying that before something becomes real, it exists in this wave-like, potential state. Now, let's talk about something called the double slit experiment. This experiment in quantum physics showed that whether things act like particles or waves depends on whether we're looking at them or not. It's like they respond to our consciousness. This is similar to how the dream world feels real when you're dreaming, but when you wake up, you realize it was created by your mind. Here's another interesting thing. Quantum physics tells us that atoms, the tiny things that make up everything, are mostly empty space. This means that the solid things we feel and touch are actually made up of mostly nothing. It's like if you had a room with a few chairs in it, but most of the room was empty space. This emptiness is the source from which everything springs, like the canvas for a painting. In Buddhism, there's a concept of things being connected to each other. It's like saying everything is related and depends on each other for how it appears. This idea aligns with what quantum physics shows us with entanglement. Imagine you and a friend each had a basketball. If these basketballs were entangled, whatever happened to one would affect the other, no matter how far apart they were. This connectedness seems strange, but it suggests a deep oneness in the universe. Finally, both Buddhism and quantum physics suggest that our minds play a significant role in creating our understanding of reality. Buddhism says that the world we experience is shaped by our minds, just like how a dream is shaped by our thoughts. In a similar way, quantum physics reveals that when we observe the tiniest particles, they change based on our observation. This connection between the mind and reality points to a fascinating connection between our perception, and the world around us. So in short, both Buddhism and quantum physics point to the idea that there's an empty space full of potentiality underlying everything. Both perspectives suggest that our minds are involved in shaping how we see and experience the world. So, the journey through these two fields takes us on a path that unites the spiritual with the scientific, showing us that the way we understand reality is more intricate and connected than we might have thought. Thanks for watching. Please do like share and subscribe.